So for companies that are looking to set up a, um, a, a subsidiary in the United States or founders that are from another country that are looking to set up their, their company as a U.S. company, one key thing to understand is that corporate law in the United States is not federal. It's state law. So every state within the United States has its own corporate laws. And so when you set up an entity here, you set it up under state law. And so you do have to choose a state within the United States um, where you want to incorporate your, your business. But one key thing to understand is that if you decide to set up your, your um, corporation or your LLC as a Delaware corporation or a Delaware LLC, that doesn't mean that you actually have to have your office in Delaware um, or you know, employees or other operations there. Um, you could be a company that operates in California or in any other state. Um, but you've set up your company as a Delaware company, which just means that you, know, you are governed by Delaware corporate law. Um, so, and when you do that, you have, to, um, you have to register in the state where you're actually doing business. So you know, you, if you were, say, a California company that's incorporated in Delaware, you would be incorporated in Delaware as the, as your, for your corporation or LLC, but then here in California, you would need to register with the California Secretary of State to be what they call qualified to do business in California, if you actually have operations here or other ties to, to the state of California. Um, in terms of where to go, which state to incorporate under, you know, most people, particularly um, foreign founders and investors, will choose Delaware. Um, and, the, and the reason for that is Delaware is sort of more familiar to people, the laws of Delaware are more familiar to people both in the United States and abroad. Um, and part of the reason for that is just the fact that over the years, over decades, so many companies have incorporated under Delaware law. So there's a really um, long standing, um, there's a particular court in Delaware called the Delaware Chancery Court that you know, decides cases of corporate law. So there's a lot of judicial opinions um, interpreting uh, analyzing the corporate law of Delaware. So it's very, compared to a lot of other states, Delaware has a very sophisticated and well-developed corporate law that's very well understood. Um, and judges in the Chancery Court who understand the corporate law very well uh, are viewed as making you know, decisions that, that make sense and that are well-informed. Um, and so people just feel very comfortable with Delaware. They're used to seeing it. Um, and like I said, it, you don't have to operate in Delaware if you're a Delaware corporation. What you do need to have is what's called a, a, an agent for service of process. So you just need to identify um, an entity or a person that does have a Delaware address who would be the agent for the company to receive you know, lawsuits. If there's somebody that wants to sue the company and can't find you, can't find your address, they have the option of delivering the lawsuit to the agent that's located in Delaware. But there are services, companies that provide the service to to founders of companies. So they offer you their address and they offer to uh, be your agent um, so that they receive any, you know, if you get a, anything in the mail uh, addressed to the corporation, they'll receive it for you and they'll forward it to you. Um, and that's really, and that can all just be set up without you actually going and renting space um, or buying property in the state of Delaware. You can just set it up by contacting one of these companies and working with them. And the vast majority of um, companies that incorporate here in the U.S. do it that way.